What's up guys, today I'm gonna to talk about the top mobility drills you need to be doing to improve your thoracic mobility so that you can lift better when going overhead. What's up guys, it's Kevin Andres, owner of K-Square Fitness. This is the YouTube channel that gives you all the movement tutorials and secrets on the technique to do things properly so that you can move better as an athlete. So if you're new to this channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button, like this video, and let's get straight into it. So today I'm gonna walk you through six different mobility drills to improve your overhead position. So the first one, I want you to get a foam roller and a kettlebell. And when we're talking about T-spine, we're trying to get our upper back to open up so we can get better at shoulder presses, jerks, snatches, handstand push-ups. Uh, even when you're just kipping on the pull-up bar and doing those movements there, you gotta have good full range of motion there. So put the foam roller on your upper back. You can use a kettlebell to get into this easier, or you can use a barbell. And what I want you to do is get the kettlebell out where you can get a good grasp on it push your hips up, and then you're going to pull, physically pull down on the kettlebell and try to pull your chest down and tuck your pelvis. I want you to hold this for five seconds, pulling really hard, take an inhale back out of it, and then right back into it, pull really hard, and that'll be exercise number one, really trying to pull down and create some range there. Second thing we're gonna do is keep the kettlebell, or excuse me, keep the foam roller on your upper back in that same spot, and we're gonna kind of work through your upper back. So cross your arms, get them as big as you can. I'm not sure if this will disrupt the audio or not, but twist, and then in that direction, get big extension back. So you'll twist to the other side, big extension back, and then one right down the middle, right down the middle. Then you'll go down just a little bit lower. Twist, arch your back, twist, arch your back. Again, right down the middle. So that's some that's gonna help you with some good T-spine extension. Another thing that really limits your overhead mobility is having super, super tight traps. So if you try to go overhead and this is as far as you can get your arms back, a lot of times if you can release your trap, it'll help you get further and further open. So, for this one, you'll need a softball, and you're gonna put this right under your upper trap, and this one is pretty painful, at least it is for me. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your hips up, you're gonna try to get your arm to reach back. We're trying to do that to get into that good overhead position. We wanna have the barbell overhead, so we wanna be able to train that position. Take it back here, and then take your arm over and then back. Arm up, hips up, hips down, arm down. Really dig in there and that'll kind of move your scapula out of the way so you can get some good tissue work there. With all of these exercises, you want to spend about two minutes per exercise so you can really create some new range. So once you start to create new range, then you want to strengthen and start to gain uh, some activation component to get those new muscles to fire. So this one, have your knee away from the wall and get a small band. And now we're gonna work on some activation by rotating, holding for two seconds, and then taking it back. When you do this, breathe and try to squeeze the middle of your shoulder blades together so you can get a good, nice, tight posture and start to improve that range too. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the wall and we're just gonna start practicing the same thing we did with the foam roller. Get your hands nice and wide, bend your knees, and then push your upper back down as you breathe and trying to gradually work through more and more range of motion in your thoracic. And you can do these, you can add them on 
to your workouts, just pick one or two of your favorite. But the key is to do some mobility work before you start to get into overhead pressing strength and things like that. If you can do them all, awesome. Next one, we're going to get our hips into a good frog position. And then this guy is the reach and roll. So this one is going to be a lot harder because it's going to try to help you activate your muscles. You're going to put your head down. You're going to reach, roll over your shoulder, and then lift your arm up. Reach, roll, lift it up. That's a lot harder than it looks if you don't have good activation in your lower traps. That's an awesome exercise to do to help you improve that. Reach, roll, and lift. Be sure to give that one a try. I got one bonus exercise for you as well. If you have a pair of bands, after improving your range of motion, the next thing you wanna do is strengthen those muscles. We did that with a couple of those exercises. Do this guy here. So if you got crossover signature bands, great. If not, just tie up a couple bands and cross them over. Bend your knees, take it straight up, and then take it down. And what that's gonna do is gonna get your body in the habit of using these muscles back here. And so these get stronger so that when you need to press, you're not being restricted here, but your muscles are used to being pulled back here. So your range of motion will be a lot more precise. Those are some T-spine mobility drills that I do. Those are six of them plus a bonus one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like it, comment below if you have any other questions and keep training hard. We'll see you in the next one.